Good morning. Welcome back to episode two of whatever this is. My blog or thoughts that uh, roll around in my head. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. And uh, today I wanted to talk about um, the reasons that people leave. So uh, the really, when I think about uh, people who are in a cult, out of a cult, a religion, whatever, um, there's really four categories. So you might hear of someone referred to as a PIMI, which stands for physically in, mentally in. So those are people who are pretty solid in what they believe and um, you know, mentally they, they are, they're there. They have it set in their mind that what they're, what they're learning, what they're uh, living is the truth and they're a member of their church or their, or their group. Then you have what is called uh, POMI, which is physically out, but still mentally in. Now, in my case, I was disfellowshipped, and that's what I would be, because for a while, even though I was physically removed from the congregation through the disfellowshipping process, I still believed, and I still wanted to go back. And as I discussed in my last uh, video, um, I did for a while. I I went to the meetings and I, you know, I studied for them and I was of the mindset that this is only temporary and eventually I'll be back. Um, but that changed over time. Uh, you have what is called uh, uh, PIMO, which is physically in yet mentally out. So this is someone who, because of their circumstances, perhaps they have a lot of family who is part of that organization, uh, they don't feel comfortable leaving just yet. They're still in the congregation, but mentally they're just checked out. They're just decided they're done. They don't really believe anymore. They've come across information that has, in their own minds, proved that it's just not for them anymore, that it's, it's not the truth, and they don't want to live that life anymore. But they're not quite ready to pull the trigger on leaving that organization. So they're physically in, but mentally out. And then you have POMO, which is physically out and mentally out. So that's what I am now. That's what a lot of uh, ex-Jehovah's Witnesses are, um, ex-Mormons and so forth. They, they have decided through research and through personal reflection that what they have been taught their whole life is not the truth. And they don't wish to remain in it. So they have either been expelled or they have been um, separated on their own accord on their own time frame. So uh, with the Jehovah's Witness, you can submit a letter of disassociation. So that's, that's, phys that's um, not physically, uh, that is officially, is what I meant to say, that is officially saying that you are no longer part of the congregation, you don't wish to be recognized as such, and you're out. Uh, with the Mormons, I believe there are some similarities they can have their records removed, if I'm not mistaken, and they would remove themselves in that way. So um, those are basically some categories that you'll find of people who have been in and out of a religion or a cult. So is someone leaving of their own accord better than someone who was kicked out? I don't believe so. I mean, maybe I'm a little biased because that was my case, but <laughs> um, no, I think that everyone has their own journey to take and everyone will come to their own conclusions and epiphanies in their own time. We're not all the same people. There's a million different stories for every person uh, that's out there. So with myself, you know, if, if I found out that somebody was out because they did something that was against the rules, I don't hold that against them. If I find out that somebody was out because they were studying and then they compared this scripture to this scripture and said, those don't really jive. Uh, you know, maybe they looked in old publications um, and the, the thoughts have changed over time and they don't agree with those changes. Uh, their journey is just different. So everyone has a valid uh, way of thinking in that regard. If they're out, doesn't matter the reason. 
So that, that's a, that is my feeling on that. Uh, this is just going to be a little short one. Um, I didn't have too much to say today. I'm still trying to figure out, uh, you know, how to do this exactly and what course I want to take. Um, I think perhaps the next video I might discuss uh, how the disfellowshipping arrangement affects people, how it's affected myself and what I've found. And uh, I think there could be some interesting uh, bits of information in that. So I hope you have enjoyed this little crash course on the different types of uh, categories of people. And uh, I hope that you will return soon. Uh, and as you see, I figured out this isn't TikTok, so I have the camera the right way now. <laughs> I'm slowly but surely going to get this into high quality uh, YouTube status. I'll get there. So I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Okay.